It's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative cellular therapies. Today, I'm going to explain how you can avoid dialysis when you have diabetic kidney failure. So let's face it, nobody wants to have a kidney that looks like this. All right, it's frowning, it's not happy, it's not able to do its job properly, all right? What you really want is a kidney that looks like this. It's smiling, it's happy, it's functioning well, and it's not suffering the effects from type 2 diabetes, okay? And let me explain. This is your pancreas, all right? Um, not a real pancreas, <laughs> but basically the pancreas is not the most attractive organ in the body, but it's a very important function. It sits behind your stomach, and one of the most important functions that it does is it has a lot of beta cells inside it. Thank you, pancreas. Um, it has a lot of beta cells, and what they do is they produce insulin. Insulin's represented by this white piece here. Now, normally insulin circulates through the bloodstream and it allows for uptake of glucose by the body cells. And then it can use that to create energy and perform other functions, all right? But with type two diabetes that is not well controlled, not only does the beta cells not produce enough insulin, but also the insulin that is created is not able to do its job properly because cells throughout the body become resistant and they don't uptake the glucose well. So people get increased blood sugars and they get all types of potential secondary complications. One of which is a frowning kidney, going into kidney failure, okay? So, thank you, beta cell. Now, let's talk about how we can help turn the frown upside down. So when you get uncon uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, you get what's called diabetic hypertension. Blood flow, the blood vessels to start to go like this, and you get hypertension, and it create, can create problems with your neurons. So here's one of the problems, and this is Ron. He's a neuron, okay? We have these throughout our body, and they help conduct electrical signals which allow for sensation, motor function, or whatnot. Now, increased blood glucose from uncontrolled type 2 diabetes can create problems with the rons all over the body. And it's usually in the legs and the hands that get neuropathy. All right, thank you, Ron. Another problem area is the heart. The heart can, once again, you can, with the diabetic hypertension, the heart can get diseased and it can have a situation where it's not pumping properly. All right? So that can be a big problem as well. Now, the brain can also be a problem, and I put this in here because with the heart not pumping very well, there's a potential for a clot to come off of it, and that clot can go to the brain and cause an ischemic stroke. So with uncontrolled type 2 diabetes, you have all these potential problems, not just a frowning kidney. But that's what we're going to focus on for the moment. Recently, me and my research team wrote, published two papers. One looked at all the research around the world that's been done on stem cell therapy for diabetic kidney disease. Now we showed conclusively that all that research proves that you can get increased function of your kidneys and help avoid dialysis with stem cell therapy. So in our research paper, we pulled together data from all over the world on research studies that have been done over the last couple of decades with stem cells for diabetic kidney disease. And those studies showed definitively that you can get definitely improved production of diseased kidneys with stem cells. Now, then we went beyond that and we wrote a case report on one of our patients who had stage five kidney failure and was this close to needing dialysis. He got 100 million stem cells and 100 billion stem cell exosomes through an IV drip at our Mexico clinic. And as a result, within a month, his Creatinine had gone from over five down to the mid threes, 
and his GFR, the glomerular filtration rate, went from 11 to 22, just within a few weeks. And it stayed there for the four or five months that we followed him for the case report. He has gotten a repeat procedure and we knew that that was going to be necessary. So he moved from stage five, stage five to stage four kidney failure and he's moving away from dialysis. So it is very, very possible that you can avoid dialysis with stem cell therapy. What would you rather? A frowning kidney and you sitting on a, a dialysis machine for four hours a day, three days a week, where you have problems with traveling, enjoying life, your energy is really down, or stem cell therapy where your kidney is smiling and you're smiling too because you have a lot more energy um, and you're able to do the activities that you really want to do, okay? Travel, play with the grandkids, recreational activities, not have to sit on a dialysis machine several days a week, and moving away from stage five into stage four kidney failure, getting better, improved function, and also preventing a lot of those secondary complications that I mentioned, all right? If you or a loved one would like to see if you're a candidate, to get your kidney smiling, call us today at plus one eight four four get stem, and also visit us on r3stemcell.com. We have clinics in seven countries, over forty centers of excellence throughout the world. There's bound to be one that's convenient for you. We offer mesenchymal stem cell therapy. It's very safe. It's very effective, and we've done over twenty-four thousand procedures in the last decade. Thanks for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.